Right, welcome back to the next episode. Before we start the ruins of Desirune, up here somewhere, up here, it occurs to me that in the last episode we found this map with a cross where to dig, and that happens to be here on the Forgotten River. And I believe it's actually the square I'm stood on here, where the cross is. So let's try uh, digging here then. Yep, there we go. We've got no lockpick yet to open it, but we can uh, at least mark it now, it's revealed. And also I can throw away the map. Now we're going to crack on in Desirune. Oops. Yeah, Desirune's are quite a big area. It should be the most difficult area we've faced so far. There's not that many puzzles in there, but it tends to be quite heavy with enemies. So we might have to grind our way through a lot of bad guys to get to the good stuff. So here we are. It's a full-size map to explore. It's uh, quite a big place. The meditation spires through there, but we can't get there yet. And also we have armour on this side, and this secret door will open once we get round, so we can get back in. But for now, there's only one way to go. So we've got an ice elemental in this room. We'll be getting to him in a little bit. But the first secret is to push this button and quickly dash across here. This boosts our crit chance, so it makes sense to give it to a rogue, kind of. Wouldn't be too bad an Oliver either. And here's the Potion of Resurrection. We can actually craft these as well now that we've got five points in Alchemy. I believe it's uh, two of these Black Mass to make the Resurrection Potion. So let's head back down there. So that's where we could have gone. So there's only one way to go. But with these upper areas, it can sort of double back on itself at times and get like quite confusing. So here's the Skyway area. It's kind of a little pressure plate puzzle. First thing we need to do is to get this door to open. So we take all the items that are currently on the pressure plates. Now the door should open. Just trying to think what's over here. I think we can go here now. Yeah. I think this, this leads to kind of a dead end with an item in it. So we may as well get this now before we start exploring the puzzles and stuff. I think there's some more guys in here. Yep. But they go down pretty quickly now. level out of it. But yeah, this is a another dex weapon, a fist dagger. It gives 9 to 27 plus dex damage. So it's a replacement for the Venom Edge that we got in Keel Breach Bug. So because we unlocked the Backbiter with a gold key at the start, it means we can now discard the Venom Edge instead. Otherwise right now we'd have the Venom Edge and the Fist Dagger, as we never would have had the Backbiter to start with. Right, so let's give her Yasmin her level up. 
So yeah, water magic three is what I want. So I can get the uh, ice ball spell. I believe that's the one. Yes. What's over here? A sausage. Great. Yeah, and here's the lever that unleashes this monster near the start. So we can. Jab that now, and the door in the background just opened there, allowing him to escape. So now we have to go and get him. I think I can try the... Uh, is that the one? Yep, that's... That's the spell that harms elementals. Although given it does, given you need water to actually cast it, I'm not sure if it actually hurts the elementals too much. We can have a test here. There he is, let's try it. Yep, 84 damage, that's good. <laughs> yeah, these ice elementals have like a strange kind of AI where they often kind of back away from you and don't make any attempt to like pen you in. It's quite weird. Let's try and lure him over here. strange. It doesn't quite... They're aggressive, but they're more intelligent to stand away from you. So fireball scroll. Maybe we can cast that near the end, but we don't need the scroll for that. Now we have a round key. The round key is to open the door that we get access to with this pressure plate puzzle. So we can head up here now. Let's see what's around this side. Okay, nothing. So now we have to drop items down there onto those pressure plates that were on the floor. Doesn't matter too much what you drop. You can always collect it later on if you're that bothered. Do we have any more trash type items to drop? Yeah, we can drop some stones here as well. Whoops, not all of them in my case. And an empty sack. Just throw a save in here. And just assess where we are. So this side of the level We'll be able to get round here, I think, through here soon. Scroll of light, well, we know that one already. May as well save. We could use our rope to drop down here. But it actually leads to a room that you can access through normal means. So there's no real point in actually going down that way. Yeah, this is the next puzzle area. So we have to act, we have to go to the lower level now. And it's the lower area where we would have gone to had we dropped down that trapdoor earlier. So this room's kind of symmetrical in shape. And the lower area will kind of uh, mirror the same shape. But the main thing to note is there's actually a pressure plate here. Kind of a one square in and a spider 
So we need to get the spider into the room above and then make it drop onto this pressure plate. And there's a secret button here, which gives you a clue on how to solve the puzzle. It's actually about to following the light. So there'll be some uh, light cues in a while to look at, which tells you where to drop certain items. But the first thing here, the spider's here, and we need to get him upstairs by teleporting him like that. Once he's been teleported, we can now go back up. I'll just check for items down here, I'm not sure there are any. So we see the spider here, when it gets onto a certain area, it's kind of hard to see the depth here, but I think it's the one ahead of where he is now there, I think. So when he's on the square we need, we need to depress this pressure plate. That one could be it. Oops, accidentally rested there. Now if we go down just to double check. Yep, we've got him there on the pressure plate, just where we wanted him. Now the trick to notice here is to follow the light spell. Well no, there's actually light shining down on two of these here, and then one here. So these are the pressure plates you want to activate from above. So there's three. So let's get back up. And you kind of have to go down to see where the lights are. It's a bit of a trick. Because if you look from up here, there's a torch here, and there's a torch here, but there is no torch here. The light you saw down at this level was kind of a, a magic light that you're not supposed to expect. So if you just look at the light from the upper level, you'd kind of only activate the pressure plates. Maybe here. And here. And you can see there the door doesn't open. But if you look at the secret light from uh, below and also drop one here, that should open the door in a couple of seconds. Hopefully. There we go. Before we go through there, let's head down one more time. This kind of secret area unlocks as well. I can hear something moving down here, I'm not sure where it is. Oh well, either way, let's not bother wondering where it is. But you get access to the full helmet. So it's protection plus 12 compared to protection plus 8. So we'll have that. And uh, Oliver doesn't have heavy armour yet. So we can't use this without suffering a big evasion hit. But we'll hold on to it. It could be useful later on. I think we can get these items back now. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think so. Oh yeah, the door, is it closed again? I oh, this went into it. Yep, yeah, here we go, yeah. That one uh, leads through to uh, the healing crystal that we saw on the other side. I thought that leads to back to the start of the level, sorry, not the healing crystal, my mistake. Okay, so we can uh, crack on down here now, access the healing crystal. I 
Might as well do that just for, for a save. Right, where next? Mm-hmm. Go down. Oops. Yeah, so I think we need to head this way now. So maybe that door was locked by those items at the lower level. Do have to put them back. At least we got the heavy armor helmet out of it. So it's worth doing anyway. Okay, let's go. Yep, so we've opened this now. Now where are we going? Oh yeah, there's a secret switch here to open a door. Got to remember where it is. The junction. Yeah, there it is. So it's opened the door, leading us back to the start of the map. And then picking this up opens the door so we can literally head back outside now. So it's heavy leg armor, protection plus 12, which is much better than this. So we'll switch, potentially. Yeah, that's worse than what Oliver's got now. And then they give energy. That's part of a set later on. So we can uh, discard those so to tidy up the inventory a little bit there. Oops. And distribute a little bit of food. So yeah, we'll give we'll give Nico the egg to eat. Okay, so the next stage is to uh, this gate here doesn't open. It's just a, a way through to look for the meditation tower. So the only way is through here now. So there's a couple of different ways to go. Let's see if there's any food items or whatever down here first. We've got some bread. Fire bombs. Yeah, that's it. So now we can do some meditating up here. Throw in a quick save. So once we stand here for, I'm not sure how long it is, 15, 20 seconds, we'll sort of secretly be teleported to another area. So when that happens, we'll have to bail out of this room pretty quick. There we go. Ideal, we'll go through the door he's just come through. We want to try and... There we go, lower him round a little bit. Close it behind us. We might be trapped, but at least we're safe. So yeah, just for the to note where we are here, we bailed out this way. We can just rest for a couple of seconds here and have a look what we found. So plate armor. So it's massively more protection 
you'll lose one dex, but one dex is hardly significant. But is the item burden maybe a little bit too high here? I don't think we'll be able to get this down at this stage. So maybe we can rejig our inventory a little bit and when it gets a bit stronger, give him the item. So lock picks, that's nice. So let's see what we can see here. Just do our best not to get trapped here. Whoops. You can't afford to fight too many of these guys at once. Do a big fully charged attack here, it should if it hits, good damage. There might have been three elementals there, so we'll uh, throw in a quick rest. And get another dispel with her. Oh, there he is. Hello. Okay, that's good. That went pretty smoothly. With all those guys around, you can take a bit more damage there. So we've explored this way. So let's double check. Well, let's go down here in this alternative version of the area. Might be something, some items down here. Okay, it doesn't seem to be. We do get our second crystal shard of healing. I'm not sure who grabbed the first one. There it is. More fire bombs. So it's down here. We've not explored yet this way. Aha, uh -huh. another skull. That's another boost in strength. So I think that's it for this uh, meditation spire. I don't think there's anything else to collect here. And we've got a scroll of dispel, which is what I just cast. I'll keep the scroll for now. Then you'll see we go from this area to the alternative one. There we go, we just sort of switched there. So the next stage is to explore down here and then it'll lead back in this direction to the opposite side of the healing crystal. And then the final part of this map is to explore the left hand side here. Yeah, I think that's enough for now. So we'll call it a day here, guys. Thanks for watching.